Hi folks, I'm glad you're here with me today. Thank you very much for spending your time to watch my videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. Early this morning near Barstow, California, out there in the Mojave Desert, there was a magnitude 3.6 earthquake. Uh, it was more than likely along the Blackwater Calico Fault. Uh, this fault is probably actually all interconnected and is capable of having a magnitude 7.1 earthquake, maybe even greater. Not a lot of research has been done on this fault zone. Only recently have they realized that it's actually moving a little bit faster, not much, but faster than what they thought it had been, and said the seismic risk, risk is probably greater. They're not really sure about how often uh, the uh, West Calico Fault actually ruptures. But they do know that when the Landers earthquake happened back in 1992, here's the Landers earthquake. Uh, there was also the Hector Mine earthquake um, in 1999. Um, yeah, nine. That was a 7.1. And this one was a 7.3. That the Landers earthquake caused the uh, Calico Fault to rupture. I've talked about how these earthquakes on different faults can cause adjoining faults to rupture. So going back to Google Earth, here's the uh, uh, Calico Fault drawn out in red. And over here is the Landers Fault. And I was trying to find the uh, Hector Mine Fault. Um, yeah, I'm still working on it. Down over here by the uh, Hector Mine Fault, these are old ancient lava flows. Yeah, we got one there and then there's some more up over here. Let me see. I did label it. Uh, I can't find it. Oh, right down here. I know I labeled it, but it's gone. Anyways, these are ancient lava flows. So here we have the uh, Newberry Mountains and we got the Newberry Springs that goes up through the uh, Calico Fault Zone. And this is the location of the magnitude 3.6. The closest town is probably, uh, well, there's a couple of them. We got Yermo over here. And then we also have um, Barstow. On home facts, they say that earthquakes uh, threat are very high for Yermo, California. Um, there's been over 1,261 earthquakes since 1931 and an 88% probability of a 5.0 or greater within the next 50 years. They always say that. Now, Barstow is also at a very high risk of having a large earthquake. Um, there's been 1,118 earthquakes. Um, now, these are all within 30 miles since 1931. And a 5.0 is an 88.6.98%. And we'll go back to Yermo. Yeah, within 30 miles. So we got 1,261 earthquakes there. And 1,118 there. So as you know, the longer the fault, uh, the greater the chance of a large earthquake. So with the Blackwater Fault and the Calico Fault, that averages out to about 95 kilometers or 59 miles. Also close to here, I'll bring this out. Um, this plate here is uh, rotating clockwise, and this is the Garlock Fault, which runs into the San Andreas Fault, right down over here. And then I found this too, which was interesting. A list that was put up, I believe, earlier this year. I got a link down below for the article. 33 public buildings, government buildings in Los Angeles area that are in very great risk of collapse during a large earthquake. Many of these buildings, uh, they know for probably about 60 years that there was a great threat. So we got the name of the building and we also got the department. So we got the Hall of Administration, which is the Board of Supervisors. 
for Los Angeles, uh, Chief Medical Examiner Services, which is the coroner office where they examine, you know, all the bodies that come in. Yeah, can you imagine um, a great earthquake and there's no place to uh, put the bodies because the uh, medical examiner's um, office building has collapsed? Another one, Hall of Records. That's for the district attorney. Uh, yeah, uh, for all the criminal records, I imagine. We got Fire Station 171, Fire Station 8, uh, General Hospital. We got, these are all health services. Um, another one for Ta Tapper Foundation Family Advocacy. Let's see, uh, Martin Luther King Interms Residence Building. I guess that would be for uh, the doctors and nurses probably to uh, live at. We've got an outpatient clinic building. Um, H.H. Humphrey Comprehensive Health Care Center. Um, medical center parking structure for um, LAC, USC. There's, uh, what, one, two there. Oh, residence building also. Uh, the pharmacy, the medical center pharmacy. Let's see, we got the Science Hall Building, 90. Leroy, Leroy Weeks Medical Support Building, North. Uh, Martin Luther King Services and Supply Building, South. Another Health Care Administration Building. Um, H. Claude Hudson Comprehensive Health Center. Let's see, um, another parking garage. Alameda. Street Garage, it says ISD, another health center, a parking lot structure, um, another ISD administrate, oops, excuse me, administration services center, Hollywood Wilshire Public Health Center, Metro Special District Office, and um, public social services, these two are which would be the Metro Special District Office and Adams and Grand and then a Sheriff's Department. Yeah, if you're going to have a large earthquake and call them 911, well, their building won't be standing or have the possibility of collapsing. Um, yeah, so I don't know. They've given them 10 years um, to get the retrofitting done. Yeah, you think they would get on the ball for fire departments and medical centers and um residents um yeah where the nurses and doctors stay i guess and uh, yeah um yeah police departments and hall of records yeah they got 10 years to get it complete but that doesn't mean that it will be done oh we got three libraries on here too let me bring this down again let's see we got the huntington park library uh, Montebello Library and the Compton Library. Oh, I guess this is um, East Lake Juvenile Court Parking Structure. Um, yeah, for juveniles on probation to check in, I guess. These are all very important government buildings. So I was also busy marking out just in this location uh, some of the larger earthquakes. Let's see, we got um, the Kern County earthquake in 1952, a 7.5. Let's see, there was this one in 2019, a 7.1. The Hector Mine earthquake in 1999, a 7.1. And the Landers earthquake, um, that was a 7.3. And then Big Bear earthquake. Um, that was an aftershock of the Landers earthquake. Um, that was a 6.4. Yeah, and look how close you are to Los Angeles. So many people do not take uh, notice of these smaller earthquakes. You know, like I said, this was just a 3.6. But they do know that stress has built up and it's capable of having a magnitude 7 or greater in this area once again. So it was 23 years ago, here it is, 
2023 since there's been a large earthquake in this area that I got marked out today. Um, yeah, something to think about. You know, when you got so many hospitals and police stations and emergency um, responders that will not be able to respond during a major disaster, that would be a good reason for me to prepare. You should probably have three cases of water for each person in your house. Have a full medical kit, a tourniquet, um, things like that in there. Documents uh, for property and cars, seeing how the Hall of Records is one of the buildings that could collapse. A fire extinguisher, a wrench to turn off your gas lines, a um, plan where you're going to meet all your loved ones depending on what time of the day or night where a major earthquake could occur. A phone number for someone who is out of state because more than likely the phone lines will be all jammed. And so the phones won't be working, but text messaging would be working. So have one person designated that your friends and family would contact that's out of state to find out what's going on with them. A whistle. So if you get trapped underneath debris, uh, you don't have to worry about, um, you know, shouting and shouting and shouting. Lose your voice or breathe in toxic gases or smoke. Um, have a whistle to blow for help. Extra food and water for the family. And don't forget the pets. Um, please share this video. Yeah, please get prepared. Uh, the way things are going lately. Um, for many reasons. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the west coast of the U.S. has a large earthquake. God is not happy with the things that he sees going on. And then you got crime. Yeah, he's not happy about that. So please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.